coach on the road at USL, you feel where the Yankees invading White Sox Park, and I ran across the man for the Yankees, Derek Jeter. How we doing? Today? Doing good. Yourself? Just fine. You know, my show reached a young audience. I coached college baseball and I scouted for five major league teams. And every kid I ran across wanted to be Derek Jeter. So what kind of compliment is that for you? It's always a compliment when you have kids that look up to you. I mean, uh, for me, I just try to play the game the right way, play it hard every day, have respect for your, your teammates and your opponents, and um, I think that's the least you can do. And how do you account for your longevity in the game? I've been very fortunate. I've been fortunate um, to, uh, for the most part, stay away from major injuries and um, continue to work hard. That's all you can do. I mean, if you're going to play this long, you're going to have to work extremely hard at it. And something about that Yankee mystique. I mean, you've been the Yankee shortstop and the Yankee captain. How much mystique is that to you? Well, there's a lot of tradition with our organization. I was a Yankee fan growing up, so it's it's an organization that I'm well aware of all the history and the tradition, the mystique. It's it's been fun for me. Uh, you know, I've appreciated my time here so far. And history's gonna remember you as a Hall of Famer. So when you think about your legacy, what do you want that legacy to be in this game? I don't know. I'm still playing, so I haven't thought about it. Maybe uh, when I'm finished playing, I'll think about it. So, you know, A Rod, guys like Granderson, who I knew when he was like that. I mean, you know, what is it like being on the field with those guys? It's fun. I've, I've had an opportunity to play with a lot of great players throughout the years. And, um, you know, you appreciate getting the opportunity, especially when you play against some guys and them coming over here and getting to know them as people. And uh, I play with a lot of great players, but a lot of great people. Who are some of your mentors coming up in the game? I had a lot of guys. You know, I was young when I came up. I was 20 years old. You know, I had guys like Tim Rain, Cecil Fielder, Strawberry, Tino Martinez, uh, you know, Don Madley. These are guys that I looked up to, and I, I watched how they played the game and the fun that they had, and I tried to incorporate it into my own game. So you're going back pulling up some old school days. Now. I've been around for a long time, buddy. Well, I know you got to get ready for a game. Let me just ask you this one last question. When you made it to the big leagues, first time, Walked in that locker room and saw your uniform hanging up. What was that experience? Great experience. Um, when I came up, it was a situation where our organization was known for trading young players. So when I got there, I just wanted to stay. Coach with Jeter. Appreciate it. All right.